Hello and welcome to another Arduino project tutorial. Today we'll be using a standard television remote control, determining the codes for the digits 0 to 9, which will be transmitted to an infrared detector plugged into an Arduino board. This will de determine which digit was pressed and display that on an LED display. So first of all, let's have a look at the project. So, here's my project. I have a remote control, and by pressing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that particular number gets displayed on the LED display. This could be useful for, say, selecting different outputs and inputs on whatever project you may have. The infrared code from the remote control have already been programmed into my program, and they get transmitted to this infrared detector, which in this case is a PNA4602M, but you can use others. This is connected to pin 11 in this particular case and the program switches on the relevant LED segments. So, now I'm going to show you how I made this project. Here I've set the power supply to 5 volts which simulates an output of the Arduino board. This is the LED display that I'm going to use. This particular model is common cathode meaning all the negatives are connected together, some are common anode. I've put 330 ohm resistors on each, which I've calculated to give 10 milliamps per segment. So if all seven segments are on, that would give about 70 milliamps, which is nowhere near the maximum of the board. And what I've done, I've written down what each pin does. As you can see, they all they all nicely light up. Here is a simple diagram of the LED display and their segments. Here are all the pin numbers that I'm going to use for each segment. So when I set the digital pin 2 to high, it will switch that top line on. So what I shall do next is write a program which represents each digit 0 to 9 as binary digits. And then the program will test it, and if all goes well, we can progress further. What I'm going to do now is show you a program I've written to test the LED display. What will happen is I type in 0 to 9 on the keyboard and it shall be displayed on the LED display. This is the program that I have written. I'm using an array here to represent the shape of the digits on the LED display. So I'd index this array from 0 to 9 corresponding to these numbers. So if I gave this a 0 I'd get this number, a 1 I'd get this number. Now I put B in front of each one to tell it that I want to interpret this as binary. If you don't use that it will not interpret it as binary. So for the number 0 I'm setting this bit here representing pin 2, this one pin 3, pin 4, etc. So that would be a 1 meaning on, a 0 off. So as you can see all these pins are on and this one, the, the little middle section on the LED display is off. So this is a 1, so pin 3 and 4 are on and the rest are off. So that would show a 1 on the display. What I've decided to do here is initialize the pins as an output starting from 2 to 8 using a loop. This just, just means that I'm going to use the serial port with a 9600 board. This means I can type in a letter on the keyboard of the computer and it will transmit it to the Arduino board. So in the main loop, this checks whether there's some information available. So if I've typed a letter, it will convert that letter into a number and put it into this variable. Now, what may be confusing is there are different character sets, and this uses a, a, the ASCII character set. 
So if I typed in a space, behind the scenes this is mapped onto the number 32. If I typed in a capital T, this would be an 84, or a lowercase j is 106. But what may be confusing is on the 0 key, this is mapped to 48, and the 9 key is 57. So here, instead of typing the numbers 48 and 57, which may be a little confusing, I use these little quotes. So, behind the scenes, this converts this letter, 0, into a 48. So if I typed in an X, for example, behind the scenes, this would convert to an 88. Put that back. So this if statement checks whether I've typed in a digit representing 0 to 9. If I have, we start this loop. This loop examines each bit here. If it gets a 0, it will switch off that relevant pin. A 1, it will switch it on. The way it does this is with a bit read command, which returns either a 0 or 1. Now, because that chart input starts at 48, representing the letter 0, character 0 if you want, I subtract 48, that converts that back into a digit ranging from 0 to 9. 0, 9. This is the bit I want to examine. Now, if an if statement, on C++ at least, if it gets a zero, this represents a false. A non-zero would be a true. So I could have done that, but I like to use a shortcut because I know this is either a zero or one. It just ma I know it just makes no difference, so I just prefer not to put it in. So if I do get a one, it sets the relevant pin high. If it isn't, it sets it low. Now, examine bit. I'm examining bits 0 to 6. What I've decided to do is just add 2 here. So now I get a number from 2 to 8, which is the pin 2 to 8. So I can just conveniently put a command here, which converts the bit into a pin number, if you like. Let's either set it high or low. So as you can see, it's a quite a small program. So I upload it, and it just compiles. As you can see, so it's done uploading. On the serial port monitor, you can type in a, a six and a three. And I get that relevant digit on the LED display. If I type in anything else, nothing happens. So here's the program running. If I type in 0, I get a 0 on the display. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All those work. The next thing I want to do is get a hexadecimal number corresponding to the buttons that I press on a particular remote control. I have downloaded this particular program off the internet and I will put a link underneath the video just in case the link moves. So I click on serial monitor and it's blank at the moment. I'm going to point my infrared remote control at the infrared receiver and I get different hexadecimal numbers. So this particular remote control will transmit all these F's if I hold the button down for a short period of time. Now I make a note of these codes and I put it into a text file. As you can see, button 4 is this particular code. I put 0x in front. This is convenient for me when I copy and paste this into my program. The 0x 
is used in some programming languages such as C++ and Java to denote a hexadecimal number. Now, this is my finished program. It is a little bit different from the previous. I've placed char input out of the main loop, initialized it to 10. Now this 10 corresponds to this particular value of this, which I have added, which are all zeros. This just means that when I run the program I get a blank LED display. But uh, it doesn't matter if I had that there or not, I just wanted to do that. So by taking certain elements from the program that I've downloaded, this for example, I can initialize the infrared receiver and it decodes it for me. I'm using a switch statement here, so this particular hexadecimal number corresponds to button 0, this one is button 1, etc. all the way up to button 9. I make a very slight change to my program here as well. So I can take this variable and directly index the array. And I put this command here at the end of the loop. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.